Now, it's been almost two months since the Taliban regained control of the Afghan capital, Kabul. Their takeover led to a mass evacuation of people from the city airport, with many fearing for their lives under Taliban rule. This included the Afghan women's football team. Their captain, Shatnam Mubarez, was playing in the United States at the time. I was in contact with some of my teammates in Afghanistan and they were telling me that uh, this is getting really dangerous because the Taliban was taking over provinces after provinces and, and they were saying once they reach Kabul it's very dangerous for us because most of the players that I know and I personally have met in my life were based in Kabul and, and they were saying that once they reach here, Shabnam, this is, this is done for me, I don't know what to do, is there anything you can do to help me, what can we do? And the moment that the Taliban took over Kabul was just a heartbreaking moment for all of us as a team um, because we knew that our, I was sitting outside of Afghanistan feeling safe, but yet I still f felt so guilty being outside of Afghanistan because my sister, my teammate was sitting in Afghanistan and she was going through horrible, horrible things because of the whole airport situation in Afghanistan and how people are being killed and there was a suicide bomb and all this stuff was happening. It, it's just uh, terrifying the experience that they've been through uh, leading up to the evacuation and successfully evacuating from Afghanistan. Um, is, it was it's a dream come true for us. Oh, my Baraz's teammates were evacuated to Australia, but what about the women left behind? In Afghanistan, some are continuing to protest for their rights despite the Taliban rule, but it's unlikely they'll be allowed to play football again. They are not allowed to uh, play the sport that they love and they they really uh, worked so hard for uh, the past 20 years. They loved this game so much that they really wanted to do everything, go through hell to just get to practice. And now that's been taken away from them. And there's no choice for them. They can't even get out of their house. And it's it just breaks my heart that they were fighting through so many small battles, but now it's almost like the game is over. So what's next for the rescued Afghan players? Well, FIF Pro have launched a fundraising campaign to help them settle and rebuild their lives in Australia. And there's still hope they'll play for Afghanistan again in the future. The best vision would be that we can all come together and represent our country outside of Afghanistan. And that would be a very strong image to send to the Taliban that we don't need to be in Afghanistan to represent the Afghanistan that we know. My short term dream is to meet my um, my sisters again and be able to hug them and really tell them that we came to we went through this together and we are going to do great things and just encourage them to dream and just encourage them to uh, to live their best life.